Hello, I'm Steph from FTO4 UK News, and in this update, how easy the UK could transition from EU single market membership to a successful EFTA EEA membership, and the possible steps involved. EFTA is the European Free Trade Association, with an easy website for finding information at www.efta.int. The countries in EFTA are Norway, Switzerland, Iceland and Liechtenstein, all prosperous countries, who have an economic and not a political arrangement with the EU. Firstly, the UK would need to apply to EFTA using Article 56 of the EFTA Convention for allowing countries to apply for membership. The EFTA Convention is 30 pages. Options for membership include full and associate membership. Associate membership could be a temporary membership. In the application letter, it could be useful to state that whatever the membership application decision of the EFTA countries, the UK will maintain good relations with them. If EFTA say yes, then Parliament would look to pass a European Free Trade Association accession bill, whilst at the same time keeping the EEA European Economic Area membership. The UK currently has, so maintaining free movement of capital, goods, services and people. Some EFTA countries do control immigration. The existing EEA agreement is 44 pages. At a later stage, the UK could review Article 112 and 113 of the EEA for controlling immigration, so helping reduce downward pressure on wages and upward pressure on housing. Then, looking at current regulations, liaising with small and big business, and public and charity sectors. Look for how any EU and EEA regulations can be simplified or repealed, where there is duplication, reducing competition or choice, and which ones to keep. Less regulations would be like a tax cut for business, so helping release funds for training, investment, hiring and pay rises. Next, the UK could contact countries around the globe for continuing the current FTAs free trade agreements negotiated by the EU, also with UK negotiators, and also looking at current EFTA FTAs and seeing where the UK could also join those. Then the UK could work with EFTA negotiators to help EFTA get more and better trade agreements and market access. Next would be the restoration of self-government in the areas of fisheries, agriculture, home affairs and justice. Steering committees and teams could be set up with areas of responsibility, project schedules and action logs. For fisheries, the UK has options, have a temporary extension of the existing agreement for 3 to 12 months, use or modify the existing Norway-EU fisheries agreement or negotiate a completely new agreement. For agriculture, the UK has similar options have a temporary extension of the existing agreement for 3 to 12 months, use or modify the existing Norway-EU fisheries agreement, or negotiate a completely new agreement, while doing so maintaining the current payments to farmers. For Home Affairs and Justice, the UK would switch from the European Court of Justice to the EFTA Court for all dispute resolutions. This is all up and running and working. Denmark has already got an opt-out for Home Affairs and Justice, so the UK could work with them to establish new procedures. For financial contributions, the UK could look at Protocol 38C of the EEA Agreement for guidance, taking into consideration the UK relative lower GDP per head to Norway, and calculating a new EU contribution, also for participation in EU agencies. Some estimates put the UK contribution falling from £9 billion net a year to a simple gross figure of £6 billion. Finally, and also of great importance, is assistance from EFTA countries themselves, who have for many decades benefited from sovereignty and self-government and free thinking, and the efficiency in clear thinking that comes with that. The UK would benefit of contacting, liaising and working with EFTA national experts who British civil servants may already have working relationships with, and ensuring a smooth transition from EU single market to EFTA EEA membership. 
Brexiting with EFTA EA is good transition option and also for possible future negotiations for more self-government. Thank you for watching EFTA 4 UK News. Feel free to keep up to date on Brexit with EFTA EA on our Facebook and Twitter sites. EFTA 4 UK